Hey, Weekend Confirmers, we're about to record our 100th episode of Weekend Confirmed. But first, it is time for your question of the week. Thanks for sticking with us for 100 episodes, first of all, and thanks for sending in your questions every week. I'm going to highlight a uh, frequent contributor to the show, at Matt Geisbrecht. Thanks, Matt. Always there with great questions. Here's another one for us. A 100th episode themed question, in fact. He said, which uh, Del Rio remix is your favorite over the 100 episodes? And that's a fun question because I have such a good time listening to what Del Rio does with our uh, incessant ramblings every single week. He's awesome. Really gotten into the chip tunes lately. He's got those cool 8 and 16 bit music drops that he's been doing lately. He's a very talented guy, and it's so much fun being on a show where someone can take the uh, incoherent, mindless chatter of a bunch of uh, morons and turn it into music. How cool is that? Um, of course, I think you can predict my, my answer to this question. I think Super Mega Worm is really the one that made us go, oh, oh. And it was so much fun. Of course, Brian Leahy, uh, you never know what he's going to say he and that time he, uh, he, he dropped some awesome knowledge about the Super Mega Worm. We had a good time riffing on it and then having it turn into such a catchy tune was so much fun and uh, I've really had a great time these, these past 100 episodes with this crew, with Del Rio doing such cool wizardry, making us sound good, Brooklyn uh, making us sound so good and, and it's, been a, it's been a lot of fun and thank each and every one of you for sticking with us. Uh, I'd love to hear what your favorite remixes are and, and favorite moments. Uh, so you can tweet me on the Twitters, at Jeff Kanata. That's, of course, with two N's and one T. So thanks for sticking with us, and here's to another hundred. I'll see you guys next week. Well, obviously, the market in the United States and North America and Europe are thing. considerably different markets um, than it is in Japan, so we'll find we'll translate how well it does here. Yeah. Well, yeah. But Microsoft the seems to really does not have any plans to get into the handheld market anytime soon, and I know this because I actually asked Bill Spencer, who is one of the heads of Microsoft in the if this was a plan of theirs, and I talked to him.